Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for uh, December 22nd, 2016. Our passage for today is in the Old Testament, uh, in Psalms chapter 37, verses 3 through 5. Psalms 37, 3 through 5. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Title for today's devotional is Free to Enjoy God. The Gospel writers spoke about children coming to Jesus, giving the impression that the young were very comfortable around him. In reference to Matthew 18, 2 and 3, and Matthew 19, 13 and 14. Some probably climbed onto his lap while others perhaps sat at his feet. We can picture them asking him lots of questions, begging to hear more parables, and whispering secrets in his ear. It isn't surprising that they would gather around Jesus. Children can usually sense when an adult loves them deeply. Contrast, contrast this snapshot of the Savior's welcoming, loving nature with the picture some Christians have of God. They see him as a judgmental tax master who motivates by intimidation. While well, it's true that we are to obey the Lord's commands, we are also to delight in him, just as we would enjoy the company of a close friend. Do you think of God as a stern overlord who weighs good actions against bad? If so, you'll have trouble considering him a friend. Christians who envision a harsh God devote much time and energy to proving that their salvation is deserved. How much better to have a biblically accurate view? Namely, that God, while sovereign over the universe, balances authority with love. He wants us to relax and enjoy spending time with Him. Taking pleasure in the Lord requires that we understand His attitude toward us. Our Father loves us passionately. He sees past our faults and mistakes to the precious child He created. In fact, He loves us so much that He sent Jesus Christ to save us. Sorry, I read that wrong. In fact, He loves us so much that He sent Jesus Christ to save us and enable us to be with Him in heaven eternally. We have no greater friend. I think it's 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 a common thing maybe to see God as a harsh, harsh being looking down over you, but he's just you know. And God loves you so much. He loves you. That's why he sent his son to pay the price for our sins, because he loves you. He wants you to come to him with everything and um, i hope you guys will do that not just today but but every day all year long i hope that you'll do that uh, i love you guys so much have a blessed day almost christmas enjoy the christmas season i'm um, in the time between now and christmas day and remember that uh that uh, christmas is is uh, a celebration of jesus coming to earth as a little baby to save all of us and i love you guys have have a blessed day a blessed week and i'll see you guys again tomorrow